Hi everybody, Mrs. Jacobson here, and today we're going to be painting a habitat. Today you will need a piece of thick paper. I used a big piece of thick paper, but it could be any size. You will also need a pencil, a paintbrush, and your watercolor paints, and a cup of water. If you don't have paint, you could color yours in with different coloring materials instead. Finally, the green paper, scissors, and glue is optional. You don't have to have that, but if you choose to, you could. First, think about the animal that you chose to study this month, and think about your animal's habitat, or where do they live. If your animal lives in a pond, you could paint your habitat something like this, or maybe you want to paint an underwater scene if your animal lives in the ocean. Maybe your animal lives in the desert or in the mountains. Here's a photograph of the grasslands. Maybe your animal lives here. Take a look at this forest if your animal's habitat is a forest. Or finally, check out this jungle. I'm going to do something like this for my habitat since I'm doing a tree frog. Let's start in pencil first. We're going to sketch out the habitat or where our animal lives. You probably want to start with a horizon line across your paper where the sky is going to meet the land. Now you may not want to have a horizon line if yours is completely underwater or you can't see the sky from the view. Next, I added in some up close tree branches um, since my animal lives up in the trees and then I'm going to add a few other trees in the background as well. Remember, yours is going to look different than mine because your animal may live in a different place than mine does. So take your pencil and start sketching out some of the land or features of the area where your animal lives. You may want to look at a photograph of your animal's habitat or you may just want to imagine it or picture it in your head while you draw it. So I added a sun to my sky I erased the horizon line from inside the trees because I'm going to paint in the trees anyways. Um, so you can always make a few changes with your eraser if you want to change anything or fix anything on yours. Now is your chance to do that. Maybe your habitat has plants or grass growing. Think about what different things would grow in the area that your animal lives in or is there any water there? and think about including those things in your habitat. Now I am going to paint mine in with my watercolor paints. Notice I first dip my paintbrush in water, then make a circle in the color that I wanna use. I started in my sky, but you could also start by painting the ground, or you can start in any area that you want. Think about if you do have a sky, what color is your sky going to be? Is it going to be warm colors for the sunset? Or will it be dark colors for night? Um, I made mine blue, like a sunny midday sky. Take your time and try different ways of applying the paint. You could also use crayons, colored pencils, something like that instead. Here's how mine looked when I added the blue in the sky and then the green for the grass. Next, I'm going to add the brown paint to the tree trunks and the branches. I use long strokes to make it look like the bark on the tree has lines in it. You are going to want to use realistic colors for your habitat, so think about what color the plants and environment actually is. We want it to be a realistic painting of our habitat. Notice that I do wash my paintbrush off in the water when I'm finished using one color and I wanna get a new color and mix the two together. And here's how my painting looked once I was finished adding the brown for the tree trunks. Now I'm going to go back in with a darker color this time to add in some more details. I'm using a lot of green paint on my paintbrush to make these little spiky lines look like grass growing and I'm using a darker shade of the color. Um, that way it makes the lines really show up to look like real blades of grass. If you ever want a darker shade of the color you're using, you wanna get more paint on your paintbrush. Make a few circles in that color paint. 
If you ever want a lighter hue of the color you're using, you're going to want to put more water on your paintbrush. The water waters it down or makes it a lighter color. Now I'm going to add some leaves to the top of the trees. I want them to be very lush trees to make it look like a jungly forest. So I add a bunch of fluffy leaves to the top of the trees. Finally, I add some darker brown lines into my tree trunk to give it that realistic wood look. Notice how I'm doing quick brush strokes, straight lines with my brush, and I'm putting in a darker shade of brown when I do this. So I'm not using a lot of water, I'm just using a lot of brown paint for these lines. Think about what other details you can add to your habitat painting. How can you make each part look a little more realistic by adding more detail? Here's how mine looked when I was finished adding the details. Finally, this part is optional, but I wanted to add in some green leaves onto my tree. So I first took some green paper and drew the shape of the leaves, added some details like the V-shaped veins in the middle and the line going down the center, and then I colored them in using some different shades of green, yellow, I even added some white crayon in there too to make it look more realistic, like it had some highlights where the sun was shining off of it. Maybe you want to use colored paper or even white paper to add some different details to your habitat. You could do flowers or insects, different types of plants, um, think about what different details could be in your habitat and maybe you want to make something out of the green paper or any color that you have at home. And here's how my leaves looked when I was finished coloring them in and then here's how they looked when I was finished cutting them out with my scissors. Finally, I am going to glue them down where I want them in my habitat. So first I lay out my leaves exactly where I want them to go and next I take my glue stick, flip it over, put some glue on the back, and press it down exactly where I want it to stick onto the tree. So if you have any extra details that you would like to glue into your habitat, you can glue in leaves or anything else that belongs in your habitat. Um, you could glue that in now. But do make sure that your paint is dry before gluing on any extra pieces. And here's how my habitat turned out when I was finished with it. I can't wait to see what different habitats you paint for your animals.